Yo, my name's Chad, and I'm gonna be your car show judge today. Did I mention that I only like bag Jettas with cambered out wheels? Oh, dude, so sick. I love giving the car community a really hard time. But I feel like since I've been in it so long, it's just like an inside joke between you and me. But one subject I've always wanted to talk about is car show trophies. I think they're dumb. But let me be clear, I'm not talking about shows like SEMA or anything like that where they spend their entire livelihood trying to win this competition against very talented people. No, I'm talking about more of the rinky dink little shows that are in your hometown and people get all of these trophies, mostly for very mundane reasons. Here's the I Like Trophies starter pack. Okay, get up. Make sure I go to the car show just to sit in one spot the entire time and never move. Get my quick detailer. I'll conveniently play it on the car for when I need it. Gotta have the Hot Wheels that, you know, gets close enough to my car. It might not be exactly, but it's close enough. Right here. Okay, now I'm gonna put my Christmas themed Toys for Tots trophy right in front of the car. And a paint matched valve cover just for safekeeping. Ah, oh, I forgot to print off my Word document telling everybody what's done to the car, even though it's like seat covers. Forgot my do not touch sign as well. And now I sit and wait to completely hustle the judges or harass the judges and telling them of why I'm a better person than everybody else in this spot. <laughs> I mean, how often do you know this guy? Hey, how's it going? You wanna, you wanna see it? See, look. I'm special. I'm spe- Maybe if the judge see that I've won before, I'll win again. It's positive reinforcement. <laughs> at the end of the day, trophies or awards at the end of a car show is why a lot of people stay. It's why a lot of people stick around the entire day because they want to figure out if they won something or not, and it keeps people in the parking lot, especially if there's nothing to do. So here, let, let me grab you one real quick. This is one of my favorite trophies I've ever gotten for doing something in the car world. It is for the Shelby GT350 Academy where I went and did basically endurance laps in a Shelby. Here's the thing though, it might look beautiful and looks cool, but it's basically a participation trophy. <laughs> but does this mean that I really accomplished something? Did I beat somebody's time? Did I win a race? Did I do it? No, because I'm a millennial and I need verification for everything that I do. Here's another one. This is the top, I can't even remember what's on it. Oh, it's for clean culture, right? So it's a massive car meet kind of franchise in the United States at the moment. And this was for a top 25 best of show, not best of show, Top 25. But another thing too is that I was so unconcerned that I was gonna win an award, I left the meet early and got tons of phone calls saying, David, you won and you weren't here. Why weren't you here? The first time I judged a car show was a small little car show in Virginia, and I never realized just how mean you have to be to be a judge at a car show. Because you can't spend a lot of time on a car and you can't really hear the person's full story. You just have to be like, yeah, it sucks, sorry. Or you're like, yeah, I like this one, good enough, here's a trophy. <laughs> or you're super detailed and you take way too long and it takes all day. Basically, I was giving everybody 10s that I met I, you know, out of 10 because, oh well, yeah, th those people were kind of nice and I appreciate their build. You know, like how I am at most car shows in general, that doesn't work as a car show judge. Another problem with being a car show judge is that there's inherent bias in here. There's no way around it. If you're friends with somebody and you're close to somebody and you happen to like their car, you're gonna wanna give your buddy some props, right? You're gonna wanna be like, well, I have this power to give this trophy to a friend so I'm gonna do it. And let's not even get started on the inherent bias between different types of cars. Domestics, imports, European cars, all sorts of things attribute to this factor of bias and at the same time, preference. You could have a car that's been built from the ground up and not get anything, or you can get a bolt-on car that looks really nice and they'll win the award. <laughs> now, it's not really about effort. It's more about what catches people's eye more and also what their preferences is. If somebody hates Mustangs, 
They're never gonna win an award at an import show, are you joking? Unless they have some ridiculous kind of segment called best Mustang or best domestic at the event. Best domestic, I think, is a little bit more lenient, but I've seen some events where there's been so many Mustangs that they had to make their own segment just for Mustangs, which is ridiculous. Just throw it in there with the domestics. Before we move on with my rant all about car show awards, today's video is sponsored by Manscaped. Here's a visual representation of what you look like without Manscaped. Manscaped is the only men's brand dedicated to below the waist grooming and hygiene. Manscaped created the world's first all-in-one manscaping kit and introducing the Perfect Package 3.0 kit, which includes everything you need to take your grooming routine to the next level for the modern man. I'm actually excited to be one of the first to receive the new Lawnmower 3.0 waterproof body trimmer, and it's my favorite electric trimmer. This thing is awesome and comes with a ton of great features, ergonomic design and quality ceramic blades, with advanced skin safe technology, which means absolutely no nicks or snags guaranteed. It wasn't a good idea. 7,000 RPM motor with quiet strike technology. It's got 90 minutes of battery life. It's got a charging dock to make it super convenient and a built in LED light that illuminates for grooming areas closer for more precise trimming. Be sure to try out the Crop Preserver anti chaffing ball deodorant, and the Crop Reviver Refreshing Spray. You put deodorant on your armpits, right? So why wouldn't you put it on the smelliest part of your body? When you purchase the new Perfect 3.0 kit online at manscaped.com, you get the biggest value for your money. As a subscriber, you get 20% savings on your order instantly, a new replacement blade refill for your lawnmower trimmer delivered to your door every three months, making sure your trimmer stays fresh and clean. For a limited time, subscribers get not one, but two free gifts, the Shed Travel Bag, it's a $39 value, and the patented high-performance anti-chafing Manscaped Boxer Briefs. So get 20% off plus free shipping with your Perfect Package 3.0 purchase when you use the promo code BLUE at manscaped.com. It's just so funny how often I see this and it doesn't matter which state I'm in. It doesn't matter where I grew up in Virginia, this happened. Moving to Georgia, this happened. Car shows in Florida, car shows in California. Everywhere I go, this same generic looking setup where there's a big poster board as well that was you know, printed off by Vistaprint or somebody, which I do like those when it's something really fascinating. But when you're a supercharged 2013 Mustang GT and that's it, that's it, right? <laughs> like for example, we have this one vehicle in Atlanta that was a boat turned into a car. Like that's a poster board I'm definitely wanting to read. I think that's interesting. Or when I went to the Peterson Auto Museum, cause it's a museum and I read about the DeLorean and all these other amazing cars. The Tim Burton Batmobile, Suki's S2000. But when I'm going to my rinky dink little charity car show where I'm there for one purpose, right? I'm there to donate money to the cause or whatever we're doing for the greater good and to talk cars with everybody else. In fact, I went to one car show where they had a crybaby award AKA people got so upset that they didn't win a trophy that they would give this big baby bottle out and give it to them. Like, what? It just shows how out of hand this can get sometimes. We all know that guy, right? We all know that guy at the end of the car show that gets really upset that he didn't get an award or he gets really upset that you know he didn't get any trophy. My 240 is another example that won a trophy. So was at a Toys for Tots event for Best Import. Was I flattered? Of course I was. Did the car run correctly? No. Smoke coming out the back. It drove like crap at the time. I was still doing that twin turbo setup, so it was completely burning oil everywhere, and it still still won because of the visual aesthetic. When it comes to the extra car winning, it's typically not so much about the performance of a car. That's why when you go to these massive stadium sized car shows, most of them are VIP cars, stanced cars, you know, all the way out to here, or visually appealing cars. They're not always the best performing cars because that's not something tangible in the moment. You can get this for looking pretty, just like a pageant, right? <laughs> but you can't really win a trophy for performance when you're not racing anybody else. Makes sense. However, when I did get chosen to be a judge for Battle of the Builders, this is the jacket 
you get if you win Battle of the Builders, essentially. The judges got them as well back in 2017. And imagine telling somebody out of 300 cars, they worked on it for a year and a half or two years, and you're just like, yeah, you got orange peel on your paint, you're disqualified. But getting this for me was a huge honor. This is a trophy for me, right? This isn't like, I just went to a car show and some homies were like, yo dog, I like your car. Along with that, trophies should be a true competition. When it's so subjective at a car show, it's everybody's opinion. It's not really a fact at the end of the day. It's not like a sporting event or a racing event. When you get a trophy for winning a racing event or even an autocross, that feels 100 times better than basically winning some car show thing, in my opinion, that's just me. Like up here, I'm not even gonna aim the camera there, but you know, one million subscriber plaque, that took me 10 years. That's an achievement. That's not somebody going, yeah, it's kind of neat, here's your trophy. <laughs> or this fan art that you guys draw for me. You know, Fortune Auto sent me this skateboard deck saying, hey, congrats for one million subscribers. This is a trophy. Now, I'm not trying to turn this into like, here's a photo of my kids in my wallet. <laughs> you know, I'm just trying to tell you like, this is the way I see how a trophy should be. It should have some substance to it. Like, I can't believe I never showed this, but this is literally a flag that was on a military deployment overseas and was flown over the base and a subscriber, sorry, and a subscriber sent me the certificate in honor of my name, because he liked my car videos. <laughs> like, that's the real deal, right? That's a winner. Look, here's my uh, completion for the Octane Academy. Is it cool? Of course it is. Does it have a lot of meaning? No. <laughs> but, you know, I went to Utah and I got my piece of paper. Same with the GT350 Academy. I got two participation trophies. Actually, no, wait, I got a trophy from here as well and it looked like an e-brake, which is kind of neat. Memorabilia is always gonna have more value. So am I being a little harsh when it comes to car shows and trophies and et cetera? Yeah, I am, because shows definitely need some sort of end or feeling of closure or finale to their car show. Therefore, people do awards, like I said earlier, to keep people around, enjoy the show some more, and see if they won something. The problem is, that really shows people's character in a good or a bad way. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I upload every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. And if you like this kind of content, let me know in the comment section below. Let me know what you guys think about car shows and trophies. I will see you guys next time and take it easy. Have a wonderful day. <laughs>